Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Nono Films. Today we're going to continue our iMovie tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover the new update just came out along with several other updates uh, regarding for the OS X Yosemite update and upgrade. So I'm going to go and straight into App Store and you can find the App Store within your launch pad. Everybody should have it and also yeah just go straight to your App Store and you'll bring, it'll be able to bring up the full where you'll be able to see your updates basically so if you go to the right rightmost tab where it says updates let it check for updates and you haven't already I do suggest you update to OS 10 Yosemite it's definitely really well I, I love the look of it and uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I said this about every update because an update is supposed to make things better and most of the time it does on Apple side of things so for now, let's just go to iMovie, and uh, here's the new update, 10.0.6. Oh, um, you can see some of the basics. I'll have descript in the description. You, you guys will see all of them as well. But uh, I'm going to name some of the highlights. I want to share any video frame as an image. New file exports options, including custom H.264, ProRes, and uh, audio only, which is really, audio only has been a highly requested one that I know of. Um, then you got a select, select portion of clip timeline by dragging across the bottom of the clip. Adjustment bar is always open for easy access and audio and video tools. This is actually helpful because sometimes people don't are un, unable to click on the adjustment tools. So this is this will help it because they will always be open for you. Now the improves performance on older Mac computers, addresses, reliability issues, uh, support in Indonesian. Uh, these are just other <laughs> languages and stuff. But then also this lets developers create app previews for the app Mac App Store, which is a pretty cool, um, especially if you're a developer yourself. Um, this is a really cool feature. So let me go in and uh, as you guys can notice, this there is a whole new icon for the actual iMovie as well. And uh, <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a whole new icon here. But uh, I just tried to enlarge it, but I'm going to launch it also. If you still have the old version of iMovie, basically, um, it, it does replace it. It will, it will replace it automatically it's not like the complete old version like if I look up iMovie right now iMovie within my spotlight search um, it won't be it's not this one anymore the really version 9.0.9 .9. it's the it's gonna be the complete new version and um, so I'm just gonna launch it here and as you guys can see there's already a much slicker nicer look because it's everything's just uh, rounded and perfect everything's just slick as I, that's the way I, I want to put it and describe it but let me guys sh let me show you guys as soon as you launch it yours is gonna look something like this very similar to this maybe actually to it won't it might, you might not even have anything on the main page here but this is what it's gonna look like and it's also gonna do this as soon as you first launch it it's gonna do a lot of these loading all the projects and everything um, just let it do that it shouldn't take no longer than five minutes depending how much footage you're dealing with for example I probably only have about one hour worth of footage on my computer on iMovie as of right now so it probably took me around five minutes to upload so let it do that loading once it's done you should be able to open your computer to the it, it categories that rises them by year now so and uh, I'm gonna go to my iMovie tutorial one and normally as you guys have seen through my tutorials I do prefer having my timeline up here and you can do that but I'm gonna start actually working with my footage and I'm gonna keep it all down here now because it honestly is the better way to do it but you can change that back to how I had it go to swap probably go to window up here at the very top and go to swap projects and events and then you'll be up back to this original look which I personally do prefer but I think it's better to start getting used to the original layout which is gonna be like this this is the original layout here and this is how it's gonna look with the timeline here at the bottom that way you can see a lot more of it and your footage up here and your project up here as well but um, that's it for this update be sure to check out the description and also check out my playlist full of tutorials um, the main thing is that because you guys can see these are already adjustment adjust the adjustments are already open and you can't really do an adjustment until you select a clip then you have option to these adjustments here but other than that you guys be sure to check out my other tutorials I'll have a link in the description to my playlist of tutorials all 50 of my tutorials catch you guys next tutorial and later Let my life be the proof the proof of you